hello students welcome back to the fourth video of this playlist so in this video uh, we will be solving question number four from statistics 1 October 2023 paper so let's see what's the question number four is about so basically the concepts behind question number four it's from discrete random variables that has been discussed in chapter number six of your statistics one book so let's get started with question number four the discrete random variable x has the following probability distribution it has the following probability distribution like the discrete random variable this is x its outcomes are one two three four and their respective uh, probabilities are given in the next row so the first part asks in part a that we need to show that expectation of 1 over x is equals to 2 over 5 okay so to find out expectation of 1 over x if it would say uh, expectation of 1 if, if it would say expectation of x then it would be very straightforward right but they said expectation of 1 over x that means basically expectation of 1 over x would be what it would be summation of 1 over x times their respective probability make sense so uh, let's inverse the outcomes that is 1 1 over 1 is 1 basically so that would give you 1 over 10 next is x equals to 2 for x equals to 2 it will be half so 1 over 2 times 1 over 5 which will give you 1 over 10 and then plus uh, 1 over 3 times 3 over 10 which will give you 1 over 10 this is 1 over 10 and then plus what uh, 4 1 over 4 times 2 over 5 which will give you uh, 1 over 10 right 1 over 4 times 2 over 5 which we, we, like 2 and 4 cancels and gives 2 in the denominator so 1 over 10 so 1 over 10 okay so what you will get 4 over 10 which is 2 over 5 done okay next part B part B asks to find the variance of 1 over X so variance of 1 over X would be what we know the formula for variance which is variance of 1 over X it is what expectation of 1 over x squared right minus expectation of 1 over x whole squared fine okay so expectation of 1 over x squared is what like as expectation of 1 over x we will what we will inverse the outcomes okay by squaring them okay so let's find out expectation of 1 over x squared okay which is uh, 1 over x squared is 1 1 times 1 over 10 which will give you 1 over 10 okay plus what next is uh, 1 over x squared if you make 1 over x squared it will give you 1 over 4 1 over 4 times 1 over 5 which is what 1 over 20 and then the third outcome is what 3 so 1 over 3 square is what 1 over 9 so 1 over 9 times 3 over 10 which will give you 1 over 30 okay so can we write the fourth one as 1 over 40 without any calculation we can okay because uh, 1 over 4 square is what 1 over 16 so 1 over 16 times 2 over 5 which will give you what 1 over 8 times 1 over 5 which is 1 over 40 it shows a pattern so we can write it exactly okay so 1 over 10 plus uh, 1 over 20 plus 1 over 30 plus 1 over 40 so this is basically 5 over 24 so we got the expectation of 1 over x squared which is 1 over 24 and expectation of 1 over x is known to us isn't it so variance of 1 over x would be expectation of 1 over x squared we got 5 over 24 
minus what was the value for expectation of 1 over x that was 2 over 5 whole squared okay okay so what would be the value 5 over 25 minus 4 over 25 right so that would give you 69 okay 29 over 600 okay this is t not 69 29 over 600 and that's the value for variance of 1 over x next part c okay the random variable y equals to 30 over x y is another variable it's uh, another random variable which is uh, 30 over x so part c asks to find expectation of y expectation of y okay so expectation of y means what for part c1 expectation of y is basically expectation of 30 over x right because y is 30 over x so what we can write 30 over the expectation of x can we write like this exactly so that would give you 30 over 2 over 5 so 30 over 2 over 5 can be written as 30 times 5 over what 30 times 5 over 2 right okay so uh, 30 times 5 over 2 wait expectation of 30 over x right so expectation of 30 over x is what basically oh, I think I wrote it in a different way look it should be 30 over x that's, that is fine it should be 30 over x that's correct but here it would do what we can write it 30 times expectation of 1 over x exactly like we have to represent it in the form what we have found in previous ones right so we don't know the value for expectation of 1 over x we don't know the value for 1 over expectation of x this is not known to us so we can't represent the expectation of y in this form make sense okay so that would be what 30 times what 1 uh, 1 over x expectation of 1 over x is what 2 over 5 so that would give you what 12 right because 5 30 over 5 30 over 5 is 6 6 times 2 which is 12 okay next is part 2 for part 2 what we can write for part 2 they are asking to find the variance of y so how can we find out the variance of y look variance of y same as part 1 okay uh, same as part 1 variance of y is basically variance of what 30 over x right so that means this is basically a coded data right coded data for 1 over x that means 1 over x has been multiplied by 30 isn't it so since we know that in variance for for variance of a coded data if you multiply due to the multiplication in the coding formula due to the, due to the multiplication in the coding formula the variance or the standard deviation gets changed for addition and subtraction it doesn't change right so since here 30 has been multiplied so variance is square of standard deviation right so that means it will get multiplied by 30 squared times what variance of 1 over x exactly we have to represent it as like as what we did in the part 1 okay so 30 square is 900 times variance of 1 over x that was 5 over 24 right so 900 times 5 over 24 is what uh, 900 times 5 over 24 will give you 375 over 2 which is basically 187.5 uh, the variance of 1 over x was 5 over oh sorry the variance of 1 over x was not 5 over 24 it was 29 over 600 ok 
okay okay that would be 29 over 600 okay keep this in mind please okay so 900 times 29 over 600 900 times 29 over 600 this is 87 over 2 87 over 2 okay the variance of 1 over x is not 5 over 24 it is 29 over 600 okay fine so next is what uh, part D in part D they are asking to find the probability of x less than 3 given that y less than 20 okay x less than 3 given y less than what 20 in part D we need to find out probability of x less than uh, less than 3 okay given y less than 20 right it's y less than 20 okay both are less than okay so y less than 20 so it w it should be what it should be a uh, probability of y less than 20 so if y is less than 20 we know that y can be represented at as what represented as uh, 1 over x 30 over x yeah y equals to 30 over x as per the question right y equals to 30 over x that means in the numer in the denominator it would be what probability of 30 over x less than what 20 right and in the numerator what it would be it is condition with within this condition within that condition we need to consider x less than 3 so that would be what uh, x less than 3 so x should be less than 20 y less than 20 okay so let's do some working here at first before writing that so what we can write 30 over x should be less than 20 right so that means what we can write here look uh, you can multiply by 1 over 30 on both sides so you'll get 1 over x right so you will get 1 over x less than 2 over 3 fine now we need x less than 3 right so since it it is only less only x here so we need to we can write 1 over x as what if you take x to the right side of the inequality you will get it will be x greater than 3 over 2 make sense so that means y less than 20 y less than 20 can be written as 30 over x less than 20 that, that's the condition so 1 over x can be written less than 2 over 3 so we can write what x greater than 3 over 2 and now here my most of the students get confused like should we multiply both sides by x squared using the laws of inequality no here you can multiply both sides by x because because the outcomes for x the values for x is discrete finite here okay it is finite here so since the values of x are fixed here which are w 0 1 2 3 and 4 so these are positive so s your your uh, sign will not require to be what changed okay so x is greater than what 3 over 2 we got from here so we can write the condition is basically what x greater than 3 over 2 okay so out of that condition we need to find out x is less than 3 so since it is out of that condition so lower limit should be 3 over 2 make sense okay so now let's consider this probability we can easily find it out right so probability of x greater than 3 over 2 what's the probability of x greater than 3 over 2 let's find out that 
so probability of x greater than 3 over 2 it is what probability of x equals to 2 plus probability of x equals 3 plus probability of x equals to 4 that means we need to consider the outcomes that are greater than 1.5 okay so x equals 2 this is 1 over 5 1 over 5 plus 3 over 10 plus 2 over 5 okay 1 over 5 1 over 5 plus 3 over 10 plus what 2 over 5 so what what would be that value uh, 1 over 5 plus 3 over 10 plus what 2 over 5 which is 9 over 10 okay the condition the prob the probability for the condition this is 9 over 10 next is we need to consider what x greater than 1.5 less than 3 so what would be that x le le greater than 1.5 x greater than 1.5 that is 3 over 2 and less than 3 it is basically nothing but only probability of x equals to 2 right so which is this one 1 over 5 right because this is 2 3 4 so this is what 1 over 5 okay so the answer is probability of x probability of x what was the question x less than 3 given less than 3 given y less than 20 it is basically how much 1 over 5 over what 9 over 10 okay 9 over 10 so what would be the probability 10 goes up so that would give you 2 over 9 this is the probability done so what we did in brief the summary is that what we did here since y is a different variable so basically we represented y in terms of x since we know that y equals to what since y equals to 30 over x so we used 30 over x here to represent y in terms of x because on the left side of the condition you can see this is x so we got 1 over x less than 2 over 3 and from there we made the possible we got the range of possible values for x okay under this condition which is x greater than 3 over so this is what we considered as the condition and within that condition x less than 3 the probability of x less than 3 it is basically x greater than 3 over 2 and less than what 3 and using that fact we calculated the values for the probability and got 9 2 over 9 as the answer and that's all about question number 4 from statistics 1 October 2023 paper